The feeling of being connected to the land and our oceans and living off what they provide has changed my view of food and our relationship with it. I'm Andrew, a freediver, spear fisherman, and second generation Canadian. I didn't always feel proud of my ethnicity or my culture, and often tried to hide aspects of them to fit in. After spending most of my adult life outside Canada, I'm now learning how to express my culture and cuisine through the local ingredients our province has to offer. Today, we're heading out on our buddy Alex's boat, checking his prawn traps that he laid yesterday. And because they're so fresh and still alive, you can actually eat the tails raw. We'll also be jumping in the water, looking for some sea cucumber. Sea cucumber is a delicacy in many Asian cultures. They're available year-round in our waters and can be easily harvested by hand with a fishing net. It has a delicate flavor and tastes amazing with a simple batter and seasoning. While they may not look like much, I promise you'll love this easy recipe. So we've got our sea cucumber here all cut up and ready to go. This marinade is really easy. We're just gonna go in with our white pepper. Now this is gonna be the pepper of our salt and pepper sea cucumber. And then we're gonna go in with our salts to the same bowl. And then to that, we're gonna crack in one egg. And then we're just gonna give that a really nice mix. And now that that's all mixed up, we're just gonna go ahead in with our cornstarch. And this is gonna create a marinade as well as a little bit of a thick batter to coat our sea cucumber with. And then we're gonna go into the hot oil for just about three to five minutes until they're nice and crispy. They've just been going for about three minutes, so now we're just gonna take them out of the oil. And we're just gonna place them onto some paper towel on a plate to let them drain. And then now we're just gonna fry the garlic and the chilies. We're just gonna fry those off really quickly in the hot oil. Now that our chili and garlic has fried up nicely, we're just gonna go in with all of our sea cucumber. And we're just gonna give that a nice toss. and top it off with all of that fried garlic and chili. So now that we're done with our sea cucumber, we're just gonna do our prawns that we caught earlier today really quickly. So we're gonna go ahead and do the tails raw, but you only wanna do this if your prawns are live. And then we're gonna deep fry the heads really lightly. So I'm just gonna take them and I'm gonna lightly dust them in cornstarch. This is gonna help us get a really crisp texture to the prawn head. And we're gonna let that go until it gets really nice and crispy. Here we have deep fried prawn heads, sashimi tails, and salt and pepper sea cucumber spin on a classic squid dish. 